Hey guys, it's Kim and I am back with another video and today, oh you'll have to excuse this sweater, it's freaking freezing in my apartment. It's really cold outside, it's pouring rain, so it's generally not a nice day so I figured I should probably, well I wanted to film a video. So today we are going to actually do a review on, well it's more of a, I'm not sure if I call it a review, I am wearing this particular product on only my eyelid. Uh, the brow bone is actually all of Jeffree Star makeup, but this product I put on the eyelid and it's actually come off at this point. I've been wearing it since 6 o'clock this morning. I haven't touched it up on purpose because I wanted to show you guys what it looks like pretty fresh on the eyes. There's not much left there. Um, so what we're going to be talking about today is the Easy Tiger featuring the Shrine and the Space Dusk, Space Dust pigment bundle and this is something by called Shrine Beauty and this is actually um, a collaboration with Easy Tiger and Shrine Beauty is actually a UK makeup brand and I wanted to start doing a few reviews on UK makeup brands mainly because I absolutely love makeup that you can get overseas specifically in the UK um, or the European Union only because I, I think the quality of it is phenomenal so I'm just putting on my timer here so I don't run over and you know my camera. I think the quality of it is absolutely phenomenal. I have the Mama Mitchell palette, the Stacey Marie palette. I have this. The shipping though, however, also I should mention Peaches and Cream. I was going to do a Easy Tiger with um, kind of like against, oh I should buy the other box, kind of going against the 50 shades of peaches. So some Peaches and Cream. Um, I do have pretty much the whole collection but I was going to put some of their pigments against Easy Tiger and then I thought about it and I, I don't really want to do that I might swatch some um, peaches and cream but I thought I would save that for a separate video and I uh, the shipping like I was saying the shipping can be a bit of a pain to get because the overseas and the duty and taxes and the conversion to Canada I have lost several items um, and I've had to rebuy them. The companies though are always tremendous about it for repurchasing or they'll ship you new products or anything like that. So don't be um, dissuaded from ordering something overseas. Just put it on a credit card and that way if there is a problem then you can always call your credit card company and they can help you work with the company. But I have not had too too many issues with anything overseas that I have brought in at this point. So. Oh, what I also wanted to say is, on my last video, I reviewed um, the Jeffree Star The Gloss. I only did uh, three different colors, mainly because I, I don't have the full collection, and at $18 US a piece, it's kind of pricey for me to purchase them all. Uh, if you have not checked that video, I'll go check it out. I will put a card in the top corner, and you can um, check out that video. I did say that I would uh, throw on the collaboration between Jouer and Jeffree Star, and that's this here. It's super pink, okay, um, and it's called Sweet Tooth, and I completely forgot, absolutely completely forgot. So we're going to do that in this video as well. We'll do that at the end though, hopefully I don't forget again, I, I promise I won't. So without further ado, the Easy Tiger actually comes in this adorable little lunch box, uh, this little takeaway container. And it just opens up and inside you get, you. I should mention you can buy these components individually or you can buy it in the bundle. The components individually are actually $7.95 a G GBP, which is um, British pounds. That for Canadian conversion is pretty close to double once your credit card company or my credit card company anyway puts on a fee for converting the money. So you're looking at almost $14.00 pigment maybe roughly $14 possibly 16 when you add shipping um, that's high so it's quite high for pigments however they perform amazingly so with these it's $7.95 individually or you can buy the full bundle for 40 pounds which is roughly $80 when you tack on shipping and conversion and all of that for US purchasers, it would be cheaper because obviously their dollar is worth more than the Canadian dollar. So it comes in these boxes and these are wildly annoying to open. I just for whatever reason could not. So I ended up tearing a bunch of them. And this is the component that you get inside. Look at that. 
that is absolutely gorgeous pigment so this is what you get inside and these are all neon pigments and we'll run through them oh i should probably pull out the proper brush that i want to use these are all neon pigments and this one is cosmos i'm gonna be very careful not to spill this all over the place mainly because it's like i said pricey and that's cosmos so i'm gonna swatch that for you guys without spilling it everywhere you know what i don't like the finger swatches so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it on my eyes first because this is actually the one that i'm wearing on my eyes right now so i'm gonna put it on my eyes first and then we're gonna use the same brush to swatch it and i can clean it and swatch it versus trying to clean the brush and then put it on my eyes after so I like to use a really fluffy brush which actually it's actually cut almost straight up at the back and rounds at the front only because I find you can scoop pigment more with it and this is a peaches and cream uh, brush it actually is designed for their their pigments and glitters but honestly it, it doesn't matter and I find when I'm bringing stuff overseas I like to add more of the company's products so I can try some stuff I mean you're paying a flat rate of about 10 pound for shipping anyway um, you might as well. So dip it in a lot comes off. So just be warned tap that brush off and instead of doing a swiping motion with this you want to pat it on. If you swipe I find you get all kinds of fallout and it goes dusty and just goes wild. So we don't want to do that. Oh and my apologies for my hair in last uh, last week's video. It was a hot mess. If you saw it I had some sort of like hair action going on out here didn't even realize it. My hair was down, I came back from riding, I just hopped on and started doing a video. Oh lord, had I noticed that. Now, like I said, I'm putting this on over top of my makeup. There's actually glitter in here and this goes on so pigmented. It's so neon. It's unreal. There is a base under here. There was anyways. Um, it's probably worn off. I did use um, peaches and cream from the UK. It's a glitter base, but you can use almost any base. I'm pretty sure like, um, what is that called? Two Faces Shadow Insurance would work. Anything sticky to kind of help the powder stick down would work, I think. Why don't we shift some on this other side here just for, for kicks. Just to bring these back up. And I do have hooded eyelids, so obviously when my um, eyes roll, when I open my eyes, I get a whole bunch of printing on this, and I end up losing a lot of color. If you don't have hooded eyelids, I think this would actually look beautiful on your eyes and would likely stay a lot longer, and you wouldn't run the risk of creasing like, like I do. So that is basically it on, and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. The neon in this is just phenomenal. And now I'm going to swatch it for you on my hands. So that is Cosmos. It's it's gorgeous. And I did not bring anything to clean my brush off. That was silly. Oh well. The next one we have is this gorgeous pink. And you get six. I should say you get six different colors in the... Um, lunch kit or the bundle and you also get a mini black light with it I can't I mean I know it's just like a filler but you do get a mini black light in there if you're in need of a black light Cosmos is a wild pink there that is there absolutely gorgeous I'm really cleaning my brush on this paper here <laughs> let's do a green now I'm just gonna push these very carefully in front of me don't be afraid of like glitters and loose product I find I used to be really terrified of using a lot of loose eyeshadows because I tend to play with them a lot now that I've let's clean my brush up there. now that I've uh, played with these quite a bit I, I find that using them just becomes easier and easier they blend out quite well and I should say the name of this gorgeous green Astro And there is glitter in here so there is a ton of glitter reflect in here and that's astro that is actually gorgeous i have not opened 
the rest of these other than taking them out of the packaging. So I haven't seen, I'm seeing these the same time you guys are. I'm literally cleaning my brush on a pad of paper. So I did not bring anything to clean my brush on, which was really silly. Next up we have Juno, gorgeous orange. Orange is one of my favorite eyeshadow colors. And um, I do usually do loud makeup, so orange is one of my favorites. And when I heard neon orange, I was just all over neon orange. Let's put that there. And a little goes a long way with this. So if you guys do end up picking this up, a little bit, honestly, dip in and now I'm swiping. I recommend you tap if you're putting on your eyes. I just wanted you to see the pigment and how that comes off. I wouldn't swipe on the eyes, but uh, I mean, your call. You want to swipe on the eyes to get a softer, a softer look. Why not? A more blended look. Why not? I just don't because I like the loud, kind of, as I'm told, crazy eye look. Now this next one. Oh, there we go. Jeez. This is Orion. Now I know this looks white. I actually have not dipped in here. I have no idea what this is going to turn out like. Oh god, I just shoved the brush. Oh my. Sorry for the loud motorcycles. And Okay, so to me, Orion might be a bit of a dud. This one might be more of a highlighter. Yeah. I'm getting nothing. That's two or three. I'm getting nothing. It could be because my brush is right there. My brush is too saturated. Grab another one here. So Orion, unfortunately, is a bit of a disappointment. It's coming off like a powdery substance. I almost wonder how that for kicks. Let's just. I don't know. What are we gonna do? Let's put this in the corner. Oh my, I, wow. And what I said about less is more. Oh. Okay, so clearly that is supposed to be a highlighter. I've used that incredibly incorrectly. I am just going to cap that one up. Um, that's obviously like an inner corner highlight, that kind of thing. Um, so. Maybe not something I had. Like I said, I haven't used this on my eyes yet. Like I don't know if I make attempt to use it on my eyes. I probably would. But so there's that one. That's the one dud that we found so far. And then finally we have Solstice. And Solstice to me honestly looks like the glitter that they have mixed into these colors. It honestly looks like that is my oven. My dinner is actually ready. If you can hear that beeping. So at this point, I'm hoping it's not burning. So. That, ooh, that's creepy and chunky and weird looking. Let's dip in here anyways. Okay. Better. Second I tapped it, it went more normal. More normal. Yeah. Okay. So this is literally, I'm not sure if my camera will pick this up. It is just the sparkles that they have mixed in with each one of these pigmented powders. So if you just wanted like top of the brow bone, inner corner, you wanted to add like a spotlight, this would be the powder to do it with. This is absolutely beautiful with the sparkles. I don't think my camera will pick it up, but they're pink reflex and a white powder base. You won't see the you won't see the powder when you put it on. You'll just see the sparkles, which I think is actually quite beautiful. This really looks nice. It's too bad my camera probably won't show that accurately. But that's actually quite pretty. And without further ado, assuming I can put the lid back on this, because we don't want this spilling everywhere. Without further ado, next up is going to be the a Jeffree Star Jouet collab that they have. I actually wanted to see if I could, I'm not sure if the black light is going to, so you get this many black lights. I don't know if it'll work because we're actually inside and I've got my lights on. But the, oh, you can kind of see it. I don't, I actually have no idea if that'll pick up on my camera, but I'm gonna do it anyway, just for kicks. Maybe if we got like the yellow or something, put there. Not that creepy white one, we're not, we're not gonna, she's not gonna come up here. Oh, 
we'll do it off the center. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not. I'll know, I guess, on the playback of this video, but so you do get a black light with this if you're interested in seeing what it looks like under black light. It doesn't really matter to me. I didn't buy it for the for the black light, but let's throw on the Jeffree Star Jouet lip gloss before this video it's too long so this smells awesome oh my this actually smells like a mix between vanilla frosting and cherry coke to me like it smells amazing I could just eat it it looks like that it's quite pink some of you are probably hoping it doesn't go on this pink spoiler it does so One dip for me does not do my full lips. And I'm saying in the previous video that I have small lips, and I do. So I need uh, two with this product, which is... That doesn't bother me. Two is actually maybe a little too much. Now, this is the product in its full glory. I would probably not wear this like this. Let me come back. That's what it looks like. I would likely not wear this product this with this intense of a pink. What I like to do with products that are uh, this color and this this pink is I usually would take not a piece of paper, but no surprise, I forgot the tissue. I would just dab some of it off. Oh shoot, I've spilt I've spilt everywhere. I try to go a little less intense and I think that's tolerable depending on the eye look. I wouldn't do it with this eye look but like I said I did not show that on the other video and I, I completely meant to and I just forgot. And that is what a swatch of it looks like. So if you like pink lipstick and you like shiny things, I like the shiny things. Not not totally into pink lipstick but I wanted to try it because it was Jeffree Star. That is what that looks like. You will love this. And it smells amazing. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Honestly, there's such a mess in front of me. But, but I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you on the next one where I'm hoping to review. It will be some more pigments. Possibly a different product from the UK. Just depends if it shows up or not. Or I'm going to go over some uh, peaches and cream makeup and their brushes and anything else that I happen to have of theirs when I dig it up from my makeup collection. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video and I will see you on the next one. Bye.